Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on how to start up the public event Encrypted. Now that is the public event that does involve the imposter sheep squatch. It can be a pain in the butt to beat, but I will show you how to do that as we get into the tutorial. So yeah, let's go. So to get this started, you need to do a sequence of missions which starts by activating this poster or just interacting with it. It can be found at many train stations, but I would suggest going to White Springs train station, which I'm gonna show on the map here. And then you can just go up to the exact same poster I just did, and it will activate the mission Lying Low, which will bring you over here I'm showing in Lewisburg to Van Low Taxidermy. Now again, this is the building that I'm showing and I just wanted to show a lot of these missions are going to take place around this area or even just in the ash heap or just outside the ash heap. So just wanted to show that quickly and a lot of it will take place at the taxidermy building here. So to get started after that, we have to go inside and we have to go up to this green bin here and we will get the hollow tape wanted sheep squatch. Now you do have to find some clues in a lot of these missions, but I'm not gonna spoil that in case you wanna go on a scavenger hunt. I'm just gonna show you the clues that you need to find. So to start off, you need to grab the strange bone for this mission, and then we're gonna head downstairs. Again, if you wanna find the other clues, I'm not gonna spoil it. You don't really need to find them always. Again, I will just point out what you need to find in these missions. And again, this was the strange bone that I showed upstairs. Come downstairs and then you're just gonna place that in the mounted wolf uh, head's mouth here and then it will reveal a safe. You can see it's kind of on like a little track there. So once you place the bone, it will go up, reveal the safe, and then we'll have Calvin's security code. And then we can go upstairs and interact with the terminal. So once we're upstairs, this is the terminal here. And we're gonna do research security code required. And then we're gonna select research project, I think it is we end up selecting. I had my friend with me, thank you so much for the help, Wolf. Um, he was just helping me confirm all this stuff so we could get the mission done quickly. So big shout out to you. And yes, the second selection was what I said. And then reminder, Bo Peep, and then download coordinates. And then we will start the second mission. This is very easy, everybody, trust me. Th these missions are not hard at all. The next mission is Ba Ba Black Sheep. And that's gonna bring us over to Bastion Park, which is just east of Lewisburg. You can pretty much run over here. And again, you have to find two clues to progress this mission. I'm just gonna show where two of them are, just in case you wanna find the other one on your own. But I am gonna show two because you do need at least two to progress it. And one of the clues I actually walked over a couple times here, it is on this briefcase, which is the crime scene notes. And then we're just gonna come over to this doctor bag and grab Wolf's letter as well. And then that will progress to the point where we can investigate Sal's grinders, which is over here on the map that I'm showing, which is Beckley. Again, we're still in the ash heap. And when we get here, we are just going to come to the building over here that I'm going to show. Look for the white door. And we're just going to go inside. Now, this is going to involve finding some clues again. Again, you don't need to find them all. I'm just going to show the two that I found here to progress the mission. Which was a hollow tape over here. You might actually need to find this hollow tape, so make sure you pick up this hollow tape just to make sure. And then I did find a note over here on the cigarette machine. Just for two of them. And then we're gonna go upstairs. Keep in mind there is a Wendigo in this building, so just, you know, make sure you're prepared for that. Now, once you're not going to be bothered by enemies, we're going to go to Sal's personal terminal. We're going to select H HQ Relay Bravo, and we're going to go to check in 63 with the exclamation marks at the bottom, view reply, and then download coordinates again. And then we're done that mission. And then we're on to the next mission called the lowdown, which will involve finding a patrol car. Now you can find the patrol car back in Lewisburg, which is where we start it. And when you spawn in at Lewisburg, you're just gonna come this way and the patrol car is just over here. 
bear with me here. I just wanted to show you from where you spawn and I, w I really wanted to make it detailed in case people have trouble finding this stuff. But this is the patrol car here. And then you're just gonna come up over here to this duffel bag and grab Klein's note. After that, it will tell you to search near the house with the flamingo out front. So that's this house right here. You can see the flamingo. And what you're gonna wanna do is just go around back. And you will notice there's some dead bodies back here and a hollow tape that we have to pick up. Also in this lunchbox right here, we're gonna wanna pick up another thing, which is Wolf's check-in 64. And that will progress the mission further. Now what we wanna do is go down to the street from here. And just keep in mind, there's lots of ghouls in this area, so definitely be prepared. There are tons of them here. And we're just gonna go to this building down here. Now they're gonna wanna get us on, or they want us to go on the roof. So just come around the back here. There is um, a stairwell up here in case you don't have marsupial to hop up here. And then it's just as simple as going to the doctor bag here as well and grabbing the stuff out of it, which will progress the mission further. And then we need to go back to the taxidermy building, which is conveniently just right across the street right here. Again, watch out for ghouls. Okay, and then again, we're just gonna go down to the basement and there is a bit of a game here as well too. I don't wanna spoil anything, but you just come up to this note here and it's basically a little like um, puzzle that you can figure out. Now I just wanna say I'm gonna basically spoil what you have to do. So if you wanna figure this out on your own, maybe come back to the video after you figure it out. But if you don't, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. And you just need to come up to the washer settings, put, uh, put it on delicates, come to the dryer settings and put it on low heat. And then you're just gonna activate, or sorry, you're just gonna um, go up to this calendar here that says laundry day and it should open up the door. Now my friend pushed this the same time I did so it was just kind of funky but I assure you it should open fine for you especially if you're just by yourself and again we're going to search for some clues in here. There is one on the workbench right here I'm showing and then there's a couple over here. Thanks again Wolf for helping me with this. I haven't done this in a while and I couldn't remember where half the stuff is. And then we're gonna go up to the toolbox as well. And we'll get the assembly password. And from there, we're gonna go to the terminal in the room, which looks like a robot station from Fallout 4. And what we're gonna do is go down to behavioral, and then we're gonna go to session four and retrieve session log. Now, once we're done that, it'll want us to read behavioral programming, which is a hollow tape, I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Okay, so then we're just gonna activate that and then it'll progress the mission and it'll want us to search the terminal to find where Wolf is next. So we're gonna have to go back into the terminal before we leave here. And then we're just gonna go to status reports, emergency check-in, and then download coordinates. And then we're on to the next and final mission, which is gonna bring us to Garahan Estate. Now this can be a tricky one because you do need a key card to get into Garahan Estate. Don't worry if you do not have the key card, I'm gonna show you where to find one. And it's fairly easy. Okay, so from the elevator, you're just gonna to wanna to turn around and come this way. And we're gonna be going to like an underground parking area. Again, Wolf, thank you so much for your help, buddy. I, I wouldn't even have known where to find this key card. So big shout out to him, everybody. If you needed help finding this key card, then you can thank my friend Wolf because I completely forgot that this was over here as well. So anyway, you come to the underground parking over here and this is just gonna bring you inside, which is kind of a cool little entrance into a interior. And then from the interior here, you're just gonna follow the path that I'm showing right here. And I'm gonna show you where two key cards are, just in case there's not one there, but they should be there. Also keep an eye out for a lot of Mr. Gutsies and even turrets. These turrets right here are probably the worst part of the building in here. So just keep that in mind when you're coming through here to be prepared. And you know, hopefully you don't even need to do this. Hopefully you already have the key card. Definitely check that you have it before you come over here. There's a good chance that you do because you need it for other missions as well. 
And yeah, we're just gonna go up here, which I was showing, but I need to kill the Mr. Gutsy first. And yeah, we're gonna come up to the main office right here, I think it is, basically. And then you can find a key card on the table, and here, as you can see, it is orange. And from the table here, if you do not, if there's not one there, then just come back out, down the stairs, come through this door here, and then at the desk here as well, there's another access key card. Now you'll be able to go into Garahan. Then make sure you go to the top floor, which is the third floor, I would assume. And you're going to want to make your way to the top when you get there. You'll have to go up some stairs to get here. There will be some ghouls. There is a Wendigo at the top here. But once you're on the top here, which is the main platform here, um, just make sure there's no ghouls bothering you. And then go up to the terminal. And you're going to select emergency check-in. And yeah, hopefully some ghouls aren't uh, bothering you here. Like they were for me. I think I have to go back into it still. Yes. Oh, no, no. That After you do that, it'll show you that the cache is over here by the car. Hope I don't confuse anybody there. So, yeah, just click on that and then come over to the car here. And you can, or sorry, you will get a fixer for this as well. I just wanted to point out. It's just a regular fixer. No legendary effects or anything like that. And now you are ready to start encrypt it. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is a very tricky event to do. So I would suggest doing it in a public lobby so you'll get some help. And as I was just showing on the map where to go over here, you're going to come over to this little cabin here to start it up. And you're just going to come to this terminal again. Make sure the ghouls are not attacking you. There are ghouls here as well. Thank you for the help again, Wolf. And yeah, and then we're just going to unlock recall system. Now, this is the way you do it the first time. I'm going to explain how to start this up again as well. And when you do start it up, it'll be seven minutes until the Sheep Squatch appears. Or you can even initiate it and start it faster if you want. So just keep that in mind. You might have to, you know, speed it along if you don't want to sit there and wait for seven minutes. And this event is very hard. Me and my friend had enough trouble just doing it just us. I would even hate to try it solo. It's probably possible, but very hard. But what you want to do is just go around to the pylons here and activate them. And once all three of them are activated, it will make the Sheep Squatch vulnerable, as it was saying there, which basically takes its cloak off of it so you can see it, and then you will have a chance to kill it. But it is very tough, so just like I said, you might want to do this in a public lobby or with at least a couple of friends. Um, if you do get it to low health and you do not have it shield down, then you will not be able to kill it. Just keep that in mind. You need to have it exposed in order to kill it. And yeah, so hopefully, you know, we'll see some more encrypteds maybe from this video. And uh, yeah, make sure you do this in a public lobby, everybody. It is a very hard mission to do. And here are the rewards that you get from it as well, like an imposter sheep squatch outfit, a mascot outfit, a white fedora, a saltron head, and the plan for the fixer, which is probably the most, the biggest reason to do this uh, public event. Now, if you want to start up another one, you can just come back to White Spring Station and you can talk to the vendor, go over to miscellaneous, and you can buy buy more recall key card circuit boards and then what you have to do is go to a tinker's workbench and then under quest you'll basically repair it i think so yeah or it, you'll construct an assaultron recall key card now and once you have that craft it you'll be able to go back to where you did the event which is at the pylon there as I'm going to show here, the ambush site. And then you just go up to the terminal inside again, like you did at the end of the mission, and you'll be able to start it up again. And there's even a, a Tinker's uh, bench here in case you don't want to, you know, do that at the train station or you couldn't find one. And then you just unlock the recall system. And if there, if it's been done recently, then there will be a cooldown, which I'm showing here. Maybe someone in the comments could let us know how long the cooldown is. I'm not sure how long it is. It's at least an hour, though. And yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. Again, thank you, Wolf, for all the help. I hope this gets more encrypted going. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments, everybody. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate it so much, everybody. Take care and have a lovely evening.